assalamu alaikum students uh, i am back with uh, with the final lecture of week number 5 in today's lecture uh, i am going to cover chapter number 7 of book ganeson the title of chapter number 7 is alternate fuels uh, these are the learning outcomes of today's lecture so uh, i will start the lecture uh, with the question that why there is a need of alternate fuels Uh, then we will uh, study the advantages and disadvantages of alcohol as a alternate fuel then we will study the same points that is the advantages and disadvantages for hydrogen natural gas and lpg as alternate fuels so these are the learning outcomes of today's lecture so first we will discuss that why uh, there is a need of alternate fuels there could be several reasons uh the first reason is that an enormous increase in number of vehicles have started dictating the demand for fuel so uh you have experience and you have observed that with the passage of time with the with the increase of population uh the number of uh, automobiles the number of internal combustion based auto uh, the number of uh automobiles which are based on the internal com internal combustion engines have been increased uh, tremendously so with that uh, there is a fear that gasoline and diesel will become scarce and most costly in the near future so with this fear people have started thinking for the alternate fuel so they think that when the gasoline and diesel uh, reservoirs will be finished we need we we should have some alternate fuels so this is the uh, number one uh, motivation to go for the alternate fuels then uh, currently uh, because of the high cost of petroleum based products some developing countries are trying to use alternate fuels for their vehicles like uh, germany usa uh, european countries and the other countries they have started using like uh, alcohol uh, or biofuels uh electricity based on uh electricity produced from the solar energy so they are trying to use uh, these alternate fuels uh another very important motivation for the development of alternate fuels is the is that that ic engines uh, are polluting the environment and and the emissions caused by the internal 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 combustion engines have motivated that people Uh, people are trying to go for the alternate uh, clean fuels the fuels which are alternate and they are they are they should be uh, greener they should be cleaner than the fossil fuels uh, and another motivation is that let's suppose there is a country who who does not have any uh, crude oil uh, reservoir so they they import the crude oil from the from the countries like uh, middle east uh, america russia canada etc so their their economy their budget their the all the their gdp gdp it depends on they depend on the uh, on this import bill so like if you are importing the uh, crude oil from other countries then you are spending a major chunk of your budget on the on the import bill so few uh, countries are trying to reduce these import bills by by developing alternate fuels uh in their own countries so these are some uh, motivation that uh that that are motivating the countries to go for the alternate fuels L let's first discuss uh, liquid alternate alternate fuels uh, in the liquid alternate fuels uh the <coughs> the famous option is the uh, alcohol so alcohols are an attractive alternate fuels because they can be obtained from both natural and manufactured sources so Uh, alcohol based fuels can be obtained from natural uh, resources uh, like plants and uh, and the other uh, living organism and then we can also manufacture artificially in the in the labs in the uh, by using the chemical reactions uh, the most promising alcohols are methanol and ethanol uh, which are commonly used in uh, in many countries so let's some um, uh, let's discuss a few advantages of alcohol these advantages are very very simple to understand so let's go through them one by one 
so first advantage is that alcohol can be obtained through natural and manufactured resources uh, alcohol has high octane uh, number like it has octane number greater than 100 so which uh, uh, like petrol has i think uh, uh, the octane number of around 90 plus but uh, alcohol has octane number of greater than 1 so it's it's uh, uh, this is a very big advantage so that uh, with the with the uh, octane number greater than 100 we can operate the alcohol based engine at uh, at compression ratios much higher than the gasoline based engine uh, and high uh, and the engine performance at high compression ratio means uh, higher efficiency higher power output point number three less overall emissions compared to gasoline based engine so if you are using alcohol as a fuel then the engines will then then the engine will emit less emissions when burned uh, it forms more moles of exhaust gases which gives higher pressure and power in the expansion stroke so so it produces uh, more, more number of moles of the exhaust gases and uh, and if we have more exhaust gases it means more uh, pressure will be exerted on the piston and that forces will be transmitted to the crankshaft through connecting rod and the power output will be greater in the in the alcohol based engines alcohol have low sulfur content so uh, the sulfur based uh, emission will also be reduced when we use the uh, alcohol based engines then we have also then there are some advantages of alcohol based engines as well like uh, its first advantage, first disadvantage is that alcohol uh, have a low energy content, or in other words, the calorific value of the fuel is almost half. So, what does it mean? It means that if we want to get the same uh, energy input to the engine as we get it from gasoline, then we need to burn twice uh, uh, the quantity of alcohol uh, as we are burning with the gasoline. So we need to increase the uh, fuel tank size. The fuel tank size should be twice than the fuel tank size of the gasoline-based engine. Then we need to consume, like, let like for example, if you if you are consuming one liter gasoline, then you need to consume two liter of alcohol because it's al because the calorific value of alcohol is half of the calorific value of gasoline. Then this advantage number two: combustion of alcohol produces more aldehydes. So if as much alcohol fuel was consumed as gasoline, then aldehyde emissions would be a serious exhaust pollution problem. So like if we replace uh, all the gasoline based engines with the, with the alcohol based engines and we consume uh, as much amount of the gasoline which is being consumed currently, then uh, aldehyde emissions will become so much that it will cause a serious problem. Alcohol is much more corrosive than gasoline on, on copper, brass, aluminium, rubber and many plastics. So like if you are using the alcohol based engine then uh, the, the fuel tank and the, and the other components of the engine will, will corrode uh, much faster. So like the engine life will be reduced. It has poor cold weather starting characteristics. So if you are, if you are using alcohol as a fuel then um, your, your engine will, uh, will get problem. Uh, in the cold weather like if if, if, if it is uh, winter season then in the in the morning it will be very difficult to start the engine uh, alcohol have alcohol have poor ignition characteristics in general like uh, it is very difficult to ignite the the, the alcohol in, in general not even uh, in the cold weather but overall in the in general the ignition characteristics of alcohol are very poor uh, alcohols have almost invisible flame which is considered dangerous when handling, handling fuel so like uh, when uh, alcohol will be combusted uh, its flame will be invisible like you cannot see the flame so like you are when you are doing some research when you are doing the uh, theoretical calculation in lab then you cannot see the flame so when you when you when you you do not see the flame you cannot do the you cannot take the precaution precautionary steps in a bed in a in a in a proper way Many people find the strong odor of alcohol very offensive. Like, uh, like uh, if you have uh, if you have experience, people find the gasoline or petrol odor uh, very attractive. But uh, very alcohol have a very pungent uh, odor, so people find it very offensive. And headache and dizziness have been experienced when when refueling. So like when you are refueling 
uh, alcohol so it's a uh, very offensive odor will cause headache problem okay now let's discuss hydrogen as a, as alternate fuel uh, advantage of hydrogen as a fuel is that uh, when you use the hydrogen as a fuel then engine emissions will be reduced considerably uh, good fuels uh, good fuels availability like hydrogen is uh, is abundantly available because there are many many methods there are many methods to produce hydrogen like you have also studied that in in chemistry that uh, there are also some chemical reaction where hydrogen is produced as a byproduct so there are many methods to produce hydrogen but hydrogen is also produced in many processes as a byproduct so uh, hydrogen is abundantly available so it's uh, its availability is not it's not an issue when let's suppose if it is leak uh, from the fuel tank or from the engine then its leakage will not cause any problem to the uh, to the environment because uh, we also have hydrogen gas in the environment so if, if it goes into the environment it will not cause a uh, pollution high energy content per volume when stored as a liquid so when it is stored as a liquid its energy content will be higher as compared to the gasoline based engine now let's discuss some disadvantages of hydrogen as a fuel requirement of heavy and bulky fuel storage as i discussed in the last lecture since hydrogen is is a gaseous fuel and gases occupy a large volume so like when you want to store uh, hydrogen as a fuel in your vehicle then you need to have a very uh, big uh, storage very big and bulky and heavy cylinder so it will cause um, it will put like it will increase the overall weight of the vehicle and um, to carry that overall weight of the engine that to and in order to carry the additional weight of the heavy bulky storage tank you need to spend extra power of the engine to the to to cover up that weight uh, difficult to refuel and possibility of detonation like uh, uh, you have experienced that when you go to the cng pump uh, the refueling of cng is, is is relatively a slow process and there is a possibility of detonation if the if the quality of the cylinder is not good uh, or if the connection is not made properly uh, and there is some leakage then there will be a possibility of detonation poor engine volumetric efficiency since uh, hydrogen is a fuel na? and what is volumetric efficiency volumetric efficiency is the breathing capacity or breathing breathing ability of an engine that how much oxygen is going into the cylinder and when uh, hydrogen is uh, hydrogen is used as a fuel and hydrogen is a gas so hydrogen will occupy a, a large volume in the in the engine passages and engine and the engine in, intake manifold so hydrogen will occupy too much space so there will be difficulty to get uh, oxygen into the cylinder through the intake manifold so when you are taking less uh, oxygen then the volumetric efficiency will be dropped high fuel cost at present because uh, right now uh, uh, fuel hydrogen is not like produced uh, commercially no? so that is why fuel cost uh, hydrogen cost is is relatively higher so, secondly when you uh, because uh, in, in hydrogen there is a high energy content per volume uh, so uh, its flame temperature will be higher and when the flame temperature is higher uh, nox emissions will be increased because the nox emissions will uh, are dependent on the on the flame temperature higher the flame temperature higher will be the nox emission so when you are using the hydrogen uh, overall emissions will be low but nox emissions will be higher now let's discuss the natural gas as an as an alternate fuel uh, what is natural gas natural gas is a mixture of methane like we normally have 60 to 95 percent uh, methane in the natural gas uh, and, so, and there are small amounts of other hydrocarbon fuels so normally natural gas is also called methane gas advantages of natural gas is that its octane number is 110 which is good for SI engine that is uh, its resistance to knocking is higher than gasoline and we can operate the uh, CNG based uh, CNG based engine at, at much higher values of compression ratio that is why you have seen that in, in Pakistan many uh, people many owners of the cars owners of the buses trucks they are using uh, CNG as a as a fuel because they and you and and when you talk to them they say to you that uh, when they run the when they run their engine 
uh, on CNG its its performance is better so now you can technically answer that because octane number of CNG is uh, 110 and it is much greater than the octane number of gasoline or petrol so that, that is the reason that when you are using CNG as a as a fuel then it means that you can operate your engine at a at a much higher compression ratio and the higher compression ratio means higher efficiency and higher power output uh, low engine emissions methane is considered as a as a as a cleanest fuel and when you burn uh, methane as a fuel then engine emissions are are the lowest fuel is fairly abundant abundant worldwide it can also be made from coal but the process of making it costly so there are some advantages of uh, uh, natural gas uh, now let's discuss some disadvantages of natural gas uh, so, uh, as i discussed in the in with the hydrogen that when you are using the natural gas as a fuel we need to have a large pressurized storage tank like uh, those who you, those who have used the uh, cng based uh, cars they have they have a white color uh, cylinder at the back in the diggy uh, these are the uh, specialized high pressure storage tank where the compressed natural gas is stored uh, refueling of cng is a slow process low energy density resulting in low energy low engine performance so uh, because it's uh, because it's a, it's a gaseous fuel that is why its energy is, is, is energy density is low low engine volumetric efficiency because it is a gaseous fuel again i have told you that when you are using the gaseous fuel uh, it is very difficult to take the oxygen because uh, gaseous fuel will occupy a space and less oxygen will go into the into the cylinder as compared to the uh, liquid fuels so its volumetric efficiency will be low so in order to avoid these problem like in order to avoid the uh, storage and handling problem uh, natural gas is stored at, at a high pressure then it is called compressed natural gas and the compressed natural gas is stored at 16 to 25 bar pressure uh, and when you compress uh, at much higher pressure like 70 to 120 bar natural gas will be liquefied uh, and when it is uh, liquefied uh, when it is con when like uh, then it's uh, the for the phase change process uh, and its temperature becomes like minus 160 degrees celsius during the phase change process so cng is at 16 to 25 bar and lng liquefied natural, natural gas is at, is at around 70 to 120 bar oh, the natural gas as I have told you that natural gas can be compressed and then it is called compressed natural gas. The CNG fuel feed system is similar to the LPG fuel feed system. CNG conversion kits are used to convert petrol driven cars into CNG driven cars. So like it's a common it's a common observation that uh, when in order when you want to run the petrol based engine uh, on CNG then you actually need a special kit and that special kit uh, contains auxiliary parts like the converter mixer and the other essential parts required for the conversion like i have told you that cng is compressed natural gas and compressed natural gas is, is stored at 16 to 25 bar in order to avoid the uh, storage problem but uh, when you provide the uh, provide the natural gas to the to the engine uh, you you release dead pressure so there is a part called converter converter is a part through which when the cng passes it it reduces its pressure so when pressure is reduced uh, the compressed natural gas uh, come back into the gaseous form and then it goes to the mixer where it is it is mixed with air and and the air fuel mixture is prepared and then this air fuel mixture is supplied to the to the combustion chamber and the combustion takes place uh, this table shows the emission levels and a comparison between CNG driven vehicles and the petrol driven uh, vehicles and you can see that uh, uh, these are the petrol based engine so when you use the petrol the carbon monoxide uh, emission is 0.92 gram per kilometer whereas when you use the CNG this value drops to uh, 0.05 gram per kilometer which is considerably low so what about hydrocarbon emissions hydrocarbon emission is 0.36 gram per kilometer and when you use the uh, 
uh, when you use the CNG as, as a fuel then the hydrocarbon emissions are 0 0.25, 0 0.24 gram per kilometer. The NOx emissions are higher and it is because of that because of the fact that CNG has a has a higher octane number and the higher octane number means the engine performance at higher temperatures and higher temperatures means higher NOx emissions because NOx emissions are dependent on the claim temperature. So now let's discuss LPG liquefied petroleum gas. What is liquid? What is petroleum gas? Petroleum gas is actually uh, propane. Uh, propane and propane and butane are also are called uh, petroleum gas or sometimes a mixture of propane and butane is called petroleum gas and uh, it is again it is stored at high pressure so to in order to avoid the storage and and handling problem petroleum gas is stored at much higher pressure so you compress it so it comes into the uh, liquid phase and that liquid is stored in the in the fuel tanks which are sealed so these let's discuss some advantages of L, uh, liquefied petroleum gas uh, it contains less carbon than gasoline so uh, since it contains less carbon than gasoline then the carbon deposit problems uh, will be reduced and the carbon uh, emission will also be reduced in the in the engine emissions mixes with air at all temperature so lpg can mix with air at all temperature since fuel is in the form of vapors, there is no crankcase dilution. So uh, petroleum gas is in gaseous form. Even if it is leak and if it goes into the engine, then it will not uh, dilute the crankcase and it will not cause the problem of the crankcase dilution. So what is crankcase dilution? I have discussed in the in the previous lecture that when we use the liquid fuel and, the, and if the liquid fuel volatility is low, then what happens? The liquid fuel droplets will go into the engine engine and and it will remove and they will remove the layer of uh, lubrication oil from the engine parts and they will dilute the uh, engine parts so their the, their deterioration will start their life will be reduced automobile can use propane if they have high compression so like if you are using petroleum petroleum liquid lpg as a as a fuel then you can operate the engine at at much high compression ratio and this value is around 10 lpg has high antinoc characteristics that is why the and because point number four is linked to point number four, five, point number five, because LPG has high on anti knock characteristic, that is why the LPG based engines can be operated at at much uh, higher compression ratios. Its heat energy is about 80% of gasoline, but its high octane number compensates the thermal efficiency of the engine. So, like its efficiency, its, its calorific value is, is, is lower, but since it, it's operated at higher octane number, then it uh, compensates the thermal efficiency loss. Cost saving of about 50% because its octane number is higher, 50% longer life of the engine. Now let's discuss some disadvantages. LPG produces 10% less power at full throttle because its calorific value is low. The ignition temperature of LPG is somewhat higher. So it's, uh, since its ignition temperature is higher, so it will cause a reduction in the valve life due to higher running temperature. And since the self ignition temperature is higher, then we need a good cooling system, increases vehicle weight because I told you that when you are using the uh, LPG or CNG as a fuel, then you, you need a special kit. And that special kit has a weight uh, and the overall size of the engine will be increased. The overall complexity of the engine will be increased and overall weight of the engine will be increased. Special fuel feed system is required. That is, I already showed you. So these are the some uh, comparison uh, in the table form which most of the points I have already discussed. Petrol has odor, LPG is odorless, odorless. Uh, the, like petrol has, has a smell, has a, has, a, has a like a unique smell but LPG is, is, has no smell. Its octane rating is 81, octane rating of LPG is 110. Uh, petrol engine is not as smooth as LPG because its octane number is low and due to high octane number the, uh, the combustion of LPG is smoother and knocking is eliminated, uh, eliminated and the engine runs smoothly and this, this thing you can confirm from the, from the drivers who are using uh, CNG or LPG as a fuel so they will tell you that the engine performance is much smoother uh, the engine pickup is very, is very good when they are using the uh, 
uh, CNG or LPG as a fuel. It is all because of that uh, LPG and CNG has much have much higher octane number of as octane number as compared to the petrol. In order to increase the octane number, petrol required uh, lead additive since petrol has low octane number, so it requires pet, uh, uh, lead additives. But LPG does not require any uh, lead additives. So the mixture of petrol and air always leaks past the piston rings and washes away the. It is like the crankcase dilution so there is no problem of crankcase dilution when we use the LPG uh, due to formation of carbon deposits on spark plugs the life of the spark plug plugs are reduced uh, as I already told you that LPG has low carbon content so that is why the carbon deposits on the electrodes of the spark plugs will be reduced and it uh, ultimately it will increase the life of the spark plug uh, carburetor supplies the mixture of petrol and air to the SI engine whereas uh, in LPG based engine we have a special kit uh, which has like converter uh, which has converter mixer and other essential parts so this diagram shows the LPG based fuel feed system we have LPG storage tank at the rear side uh, this is the front view like it is, it is a white color cylinder and then we have a fuel line through which fuel uh, high pressure fuel uh, high, high pressure uh, petroleum gas will flow and it will it will come here and then we have the converter uh, what the converter will uh, release the pressure and it will uh, bring the uh, liquefied petroleum gas to the to the gaseous phase and when when liquid is converted into into vapor phase we need the latent heat of vaporization when this latent heat of vaporization vaporization is absorbed from the surrounding air and the surrounding engine and sometimes what happens the uh, the engine reaches to the uh, freezing temperature so in order to avoid this phenomena we we circulate the cooling water so what happens when the converter releases the pressure like the converter drops the pressure the LPG uh, convert uh, converts converted into uh, gaseous phase from the liquid phase, and the heat is absorbed from the surrounding water, and the water water gets cooled, and then this water is again uh, heated up from uh, uh, in the heater. So we have also we also have a vacuum filter so that if there is an if there is any dust particle in the fuel. Uh, we can we can uh, stop it in the filter and then it will be supplied to the converter and then we have the LPG propane carburetor so in this way the uh, LPG uh, based uh, vehicle works so sometimes uh, we can we ask in the question that uh, illustrate the typical LPG propane fuel feed system so student please note that when we ask that uh, illustrate the typical LPG propane fuel feed system then you only need to draw this diagram because illustrate means you need to explain with the help of a diagram there is no need to write uh, this explanation but when we write that please explain the typical LPG, LPG propane fuel feed system of an automobile vehicle then you need to write this uh, theoretical explanation so and and you also need to look at the number of the marks of a question if if it is a if it is a three or two mark question then you need to write it uh, very briefly concisely but if it is of like eight marks or ten marks then you need to write it in detail and you need to draw the diagram as well okay so it was a brief lecture on the alternate fuels we have discussed the possibility of using alcohol hydrogen compressed natural gas and lpg as as the alternate fuel we have discussed there uh, several advantages and disadvantages so i hope you have understood uh, to this lecture so uh, if you have any query you can ask in the whatsapp group on and we can also discuss the the relevant queries in the in the live session so uh, so right now i say you allah hafiz see you next time